Wings 3D is a fun program to play with. Well, if you're interested in three-dimensional shapes, it is. And uh, I often find just through experimenting, uh, trying out different things, you see the relationships between different geometries. So I'll just show you a bit of this before we get on to making something, and then I can show you another command at the very end of it. So I'm going to create a cube, select the entire cube, select corners, right-click, and bevel those down. And that creates this, I don't know what you'd call this shape, but it's like the um, the space station on, on the first Elite game uh, that you saw outside. I think it was Lave. And uh, was, if you look at this, it's like if this shape is almost trying to become another perfect solid. So I'll just use Control Z. If you select the edges and connect, you can get to this shape in another way. For example, because if you select all these corners, select them all and delete, you get down to that shape again, made in a different way. But it's not really continued its transformation. If we go back to where the edges are select, right click, and instead of uh, connecting a bevel, you can bevel it down until it forms an octahedron. So we've swapped the six sides for six corners and the eight corners for eight sides of this new shape. The only thing to watch out for if you do this kind of transformation is that you've probably generated multiple corners all in one point. So to sort that out, select the entire object, right click and clean up like so. And hopefully then they'll all be fused into one point. So what I'm going to do on this is a similar operation to I did on the cube in the last video, but it's going to have a slightly different outcome. The cube in the last video resulted in one object. I'm hoping to finish up with two objects here. This is sort of interlinked and twisted, so I'll get on with this now. So select the entire object. In fact, not having that preamble, we'll start just by creating a uh, octahedron so that uh, anybody wants to skip the beginning bit, I can just put a note in and say, you'll start at two minutes. So start with an octahedron, select the face and inset. And I'm going to inset that 80%. So it's got these little triangles in the middle of the faces. Deselect everything, select one corner, press I for identical. Right click and bevel those down. And just bevel them down, let's see, at uh, 1.2 there. You don't want them to go all the way to the very edge of the triangles that are formed. So you leave a small gap like so. Then select one of the triangles, and press identical, right click and intrude. Keep the control key pressed down and intrude to the point where there's just a sl slight hollow in the middle, like so. Having done that, deselect everything, select Edge Tool, select one of these outer edges, press Identical, then press L for Loop and L for Loop again, just in case the loop didn't complete on the first pass. Right click and Circularize, and you should see the shape changes a little bit. So there you go, just left click to save that setting. Now, each of these loops now describes a square. So if we now go right click and loop cut, it'll be chopped into separate components. Locate the component that's not selected. Have your geometry graph open, which you can get for, to from window if you've not got it open. And just use this eye to hide that deselected bit. Press space to deselect everything else. Select face tool. Select one of these inner squares that uh, we used on the cutting. Bring back the missing bit and then press I for identical. Now all those squares will be highlighted, but you can't see them very clearly because they're hidden in the object. I think if you press W for wireframe, you can see those selected faces inside the wireframe view. W again to return it to solid. Right click, rotate, normal, hold the shift key down and rotate 45 degrees. The number's in the top left hand corner. Left click, select entire object, right click, weld, select entire object, right click, do Sabian subdivision. So here we are. It's looks sort of cubic, which uh, I suppose having the initial stage that I was describing about the relationship between these two shapes, th 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 that it's cubic shouldn't really be that surprising. But what is I think, a little bit, well, interesting rather than surprising is if I select this line here, for example, so it's not one of these that's directly next to the hole or the inner hole, and press G and then press I for identical and G again, and then switch it to Face Tool, you'll see that we've got this similar arrangement as in the last video. We can intrude this a little bit now, and we'll be left with an interesting shape. So I'll just intrude this a little bit. I don't know. Uh, hold the shift Control key down and take it in 0.1. And if I want to uh, keep these edges here a bit um, 
sharp select the those on the edges on the inside of this cut press identical and l for loop identical and loop and identical and loop a few times so it's gone right around the object right click and bevel so just bevel those down a little bit then select the entire object and press s for smooth and s for smooth so we've tidied it up a bit so you might think that that is all one object particularly since the geometry graph suggests that's the case however if i select this entire object right click and when it've got no i've got to put it on a right i've got to put it on this one here so um body selection mode it's called so when you select uh, the entire object and you've got it in the the solid mode you can use this separate command and if there is more than one component it will split it up so what we've got here is two bits that are intertwined but quite separate so i'll just hide the selected bit so you can have a look at that bit okay and then fitting into that but without colliding with it is this other bit which looks very similar obviously because of the symmetry in the object so you could then at this point use the material mode so that needs to be in face right click and right click on material give it a new material name and assign it a color so you can identify it don't choose red because that just makes life confusing for you because selection is in red swap the selection over right click right click on material new material name and give that a different color okay okay put a space now this is ready for export or uv mapping in uv mapper I, I don't know how to do it in wings properly i've had a little go but i've not got to grips with that yet so what i'll do is export it as wavefront obj and uh, call this uh, test to octa one okay and then i can use the uh, uv mapper classic to give it a basic spherical map and then slide it into either bryce or octane for final rendering so there you go i thought it was interesting to show you the separate command and how what can initially appear to be one object can turn out to be in fact two objects that are interlinked so if you did this with the cube for example it only ends up with one object i'll just run through that fairly quickly since i've got a bit of time left so with the cube the procedure is uh, to select the entire object select face mode inset the face i'll take it down uh, i'll take it down 80 again Let's press space to deselect select corner use i for identical bevel down make sure it doesn't quite join at the corners there so that's 0 0.9 select one of these faces press identical right click and intrude and take that down so there's still a little bit of a gap select one of these edges with the edge tool press identical and loop and loop again right click and we want circularize shape changes press left click if it doesn't change like that then probably try re-looping it so again that's usually the problem right click and loop cut okay hide that face press space to deselect select face tool like so bring that face back in press i for identical right click rotate normal hold the uh, shift key down take it around 45 degrees left click set the entire object and weld select the entire object do sabian subdivision this is all in the last video so i'll go through it fairly quickly select one of these faces press identical press g g again to make sure it goes all the way around the object then you can see it's selected then intrude intrude it a bit i've done 0.1 again then press space use the line selection here identical loop identical loop right click and bevel so put a little bit of bevel on that will result in sharper corners press smooth smooth again so and similar structure to the last one but uh, six holes instead of eight through the middle and you select the entire object and separate there's nothing to separate it is one object so I don't, I don't i don't know the reason for for that there must be some good mathematical reason why you know one turns into multiple components and one turns into two com uh, yeah, no components so one's two and one's none and uh, i'm yet to perform this experiment with the um the icosahedron and the dodecahedron so i suppose those are the next steps because now i'll just finish off with a similar observation as i started with if we go for the uh, dodecahedron and we just select all the corners so this is like the equivalent of the cube we can bevel these down and you get this shape which is sort of sort of hinting that it might become the uh, the other shape so if i go control z and then i select these lines and bevel those down we swap um a 12 uh, 12 faces for 12 corners and uh, 20 corners for 
20 faces. So the, there's obviously a similar sort of relationship between these two, which makes me wonder what we've got cube and octahedron, dodecahedron and icosahedron. So what's the other perfect solid? Well, sphere, which is, I suppose, um, the theoretically infinite number of faces and points which are one and the same. So if you swap one for the other, you swap a sphere for a sphere. Uh, oh, I, in this case, though, it's not, it's not perfect, is it? So if I try this same trick with this, I don't know what's going to happen. I've not tried it, but we'll just uh, do the lines. Oops, not that one. Um, bevel. You see, it doesn't work uh, for whatever reason. Probably because th these faces are not equal in size, but whereas in a, a sphere it would be more like um, a bucky, perhaps. Oh, we've got some buckies down here, I think. Geodomes. So I'll just do a geodome. That shows more promise. Select all these lines. It might get closer, but there might be differences. Bevel them out. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, it's turning into the sort of football shape. I am digressing. I've gone on long enough now. So I hope you found that uh, interesting and that you'll uh, you'll have a go at experimenting with the, this sort of things in Wings 3D and come up with shapes to render in your render engine of choice. That's the end of the video.